I want to talk about feedback a little bit because this I know you've had trouble with. At some point or another, you've had feedback happen. Very basically, um, what's happening with feedback is you've got a microphone. And over here, you've got a speaker. And the sound from that speaker, obviously, is going into that microphone, into the board, into an amp, getting pumped up and shoved back out that speaker and slammed back into the microphone. And you get this howl round cycle. The, the Brits call it howl round. They don't call it feedback. Okay, well, that's great. We all know about that. How come I have feedback problems sometimes and other times I don't? When the room, remember resonance, when the room begins to vibrate at a certain uh, frequency, it's very possible that that frequency will get reinforced and that particular frequency will be the one that you're feeding back on. How can you get away from that? Well, you can try to find the tone or on your graphic EQ try to find the tone and bring that back a little bit. You can turn your volume down, which is affect what you're doing. You're turning the volume down for that frequency. Okay, there's a couple other situations. Man, I play with this rap band all the time, and every time the guy turns his hat around from the back and comes up to the mic, it feeds back. Well, it's coming off of the monitors. It's bouncing off the top of his hat and right into the microphone, and I've seen it happen a thousand times. Not so much in sitar players, but it's a different thing. <laughs> um, so... Um, there's that kind of situation. Oh, and and also understand that anytime a microphone, the diaphragm that creates the sound in there, anytime that thing um, couples with an outside, uh, shall we say, ear, if you will, it makes that ear that that microphone bigger. I'll give you an example. How about a drum head? The other night we were playing a gig, and. Uh, really big sound company they'd been there for 10 hours they were really exhausted things were not sounding too hot because they were just not on top of it anymore but one of our guys came out with a djembe which is a kind of an african drum and it has a head about like this and he took his microphone and he turned it to the top of that drum and by the way that was a vocal mic a little while ago so it was coming through the monitors all right so when he hits that drum the diaphragm inside the microphone vibrates at exactly the same speed. In effect, the drum and the diaphragm are completely coupled. This can happen with a guitar, an acoustic guitar particularly, either on a microphone or even, you know, it, it becomes, the whole body becomes something that can pick up stuff if it's plugged in. But in any case, it means that that microphone's ear just got way big, 12, 13, 14 inches, and any sound bouncing around that hits the top of that head goes into that microphone, and what does it do? It goes back in the board, back in the amp, out the speaker, slams right back into the head of the drum again, and what? Into the microphone. So you get and it, and it just gets completely out of control. Again, you turn it down, or you try to find that frequency, and you turn it down. I drop a microphone on the stage. Now the whole stage is in here. Or... Uh, I've got five open microphones on a, on a stage. Now it becomes very complicated to adjust everything because all five microphones are open. And by the way, one of the ways you can get around it a little bit is if you can bring those, those monitors relatively close to the singer, then you can turn them down. And you have a whole lot less errant sound just bouncing all over the room and possibly getting into your microphone. So those are some of the ways you can get a handle on, on the feedback issue. And I will say... 99.999% of the time, the feedback is coming through your monitor into your microphone. Um, some of the time, if, you're, if you've got really big speakers and you've got you know, the, the big honking subwoofers on there and those are sitting on your stage and your microphone isn't insulated very well uh, or you're just getting a lot of back sound off of that or it's vibrating the whole room, sometimes your, your woofers will feed back really nasty through things too.